decisions, decisions. This one or this one? Hmm. I think we'll choose this one. This is one of the uh, fruit, vegetable, gourd, pumpkin. I don't know what it is that came off of the plant of mystery. And so this is the first year that I'm actually going to try to prepare one and find out what it is. I do not have the manual dexterity and or coordination today to try to uh, video step by step. So let's not. Uh, what I'm going to do, I did wash this already. I'm going to uh, poke holes in it. I'm going to put it in uh, this Pyrex dish. Yeah, Pyrex, if you'd like to send me some things, that would be fabulous. I'm going to microwave it for probably about 15 minutes until it's tender. And uh, open it up and we'll see if there's any point in going forward with that. And I will say for those of you who are OCD or uh, looking to <laughs> looking to be, what is his name? That, that guy that's the Scottish guy that goes into the restaurants and just blasts everybody. Uh, if you're one of those, turn away now. Yeah, time cook would probably work better on that, wouldn't it? Let's hit it again. It may take more than 15. But that'll be a start. And the reason for poking holes in this, which you never know who's going to wander by the channel, uh, is so that steam can escape and we'd rather not have whatever this is blow up in the microwave. Uh, the microwave has a nice beige color to the inside of it because uh, youngest kid burned a bag of popcorn in it and it never goes away. It, yeah. Okay, after 15 minutes I did I did poke it with a fork. Uh, seems to be still quite tough. It may remain tough if it's a gourd type thing, but I'm going to put it in for 10 more minutes and uh, then we'll take it out and uh, cut it and see what's inside. I've enlisted the help of youngest kid because a uh, second pair of hands is always good on this. This thing is uh, still very hot. Yeah, we're going to see what this does. She microwaved it. I did microwave it. It's acceptable. Okay. Because why would I put it in the oven for like two hours I just never and not even know whether it's worth it? I can invest 25 minutes. So I'm not going to invest two hours. All right, we're going to see what this is. Well, it actually, it's tender, sort of like an acorn squash. When you microwave them, the acorn squash is knockoff cousin. It may be, it may be, and that's okay because I'm a fan of the acorn squash. I feel like I saw this on Unis Honest or something. Like they tried I, I different pumpkins and squashes. I don't know what that. Anyhow, what I will do is uh, scoop the seeds and stuff out. But before I take all that, let's see, let's see what this is. Steamy. That, that's a Primus reference for anybody who's ever listened to Primus. It's from the music video. You know, it's not bad. It is on the line of like an acorn squash. So, yeah, that's doable. So, what I'll do is go ahead and scoop these out. And then I will put my seasonings and stuff on it. And then bake it for a little while because you got to let your butter and everything melt. And I will, uh, I'll let everybody see that before, well, after I do that. Okay. Okay, I've got these, uh, ready to go into the oven. And, uh, because I do the keto thing, because of the diabetes thing, which the diabetes thing really, that's not fun. So I have to stuff this with alternative, um, items that are low carb items. I have to be aware that any of the squashes or pumpkins or something like that have a tendency to be 
higher in carbs as a general, so it's a matter of portion control. But what I have in here are pumpkin seeds, and I don't know if I, let me see if I can move my butter here. Yeah, I've got, not doing too good at it. Anyhow, I have pumpkin seeds, I have sunflower seeds, I have cranberries, which uh, are wonderful. I also have, of course, the butter. You got to have lots of healthy fats, folks. I have some pumpkin pie spice, which is fabulous. And I have some uh, orange peel. Love orange peel. That's some really good stuff. And uh, one of the sweeteners, well, the primary sweetener that I use is this stuff right here. And it is fabulous uh, for anybody who's diabetic or doing the keto thing. And just it works wonderfully well in coffee. Pure stevia does not work wonderfully well in coffee. It's it's nastiness. And I've also got a little bit of a new product. Uh, this is a swerve, and this is supposed to be like a brown sugar type thing. Uh, the reason I haven't used this before is it's damnable expensive. So this this is like holidays only type thing. Anyhow. I'm going to uh, pop these in the oven probably for about 30 minutes. Let the, the butter melt and uh, everything, all the spices uh, get in there. And then we'll see what we have after that. Oh, it is into its sizzle. I hope one of those cranberries does not jump out at me. And here we have the finished product. And that looks pretty tasty, folks. Everything's nice and melty in there. And, yeah. And what you can do is, well, some people could eat that much. That's really not that much with the, um, if you're making a meal on it. And you've got quite a few different nutrients in there. Uh, again, you've got to be aware of the carb count. Those of us that have to do that. So, you know, I could probably eat like a half of one of those and be alright with it. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. So the Plant of Mystery actually does produce something that's really good after all. And uh, I'm going to round out tonight's supper with uh, some homemade chicken salad and some uh, broccoli and cheese and of course a cup of coffee. You all have a beautiful blessed day. Experiment in the kitchen. It never hurts to try something new.